Hey folks, how you doing? I'm gonna show you a couple things. The guys are getting ready actually. We gonna go meet Bob. Bob happened to be pretty close by, our good friend, so we're gonna go meet him, go for a dinner, that's gonna be really really cool. And uh, I wanna show you some stuff that we did today. I did, you seen this this version yesterday, that Jeff did the handle, I shaped the handle and he did the pattern on it. And I did the full on handle today on the second one and it came out freaking awesome. This regular 2x2 two two twill carbon fiber sculpted to perfectly fit my hand and everybody was like similar finger grit you know thickness as me look how tasteful my hands are it fits perfectly you know it just melts in your hand and all the grooves you know you have the finger grooves on the bottom from the sides and your fingers actually fall perfectly on the top grooves also because they are on the angle it's kind of hard to see on this. You see, ah, you see it here. Then you have this nice, the thumb ram. The handle comes all the way up, so your thumb doesn't rest only on the ram itself, but actual on the on the handles too. And it actually fits perfectly for your palm in reverse grip. Your palm also rests not just on the you know that peak, but actually like right there. It's and what I did is I really heavily sandblasted this. I'm not sure how much justice. Oh yeah, you can see it. It looks awesome. I really like carbon fiber when it's blasted. It's such a nice structure. It's like like some kind of skin, like rhino skin or something. It really looks interesting. I like this one a lot. And what we did, both of these, you see we threw into the stone washer. I sandblasted it and threw them into the stone washer and it came out with a really cool looking stone wash finish. You can see very very slight hint of the grind lines, original grind lines on mine. Mine wasn't that nicely grounded as the one that Jeff did because mine was grinded on my grinder with the high speeds. Jeff's was grinded on a nice good grinder, you know, low speeds, you can really make it nice. You see, you see how uniform that nice really small grind, li grind lines are there. I have a couple things here and my is a little thing when I messed up when I started to grinding the knife you see it's a little off on the beginning it's good and centered here but here the the plunge line isn't good it's you can see how that's what I was saying like I'm not a I'm not that good at grinding I do still make mistakes it's a little off that won't bother me shouldn't even bother somebody who will buy this knife eventually when I finish everything but came out pretty nice I might do the fo little false swatch I think it looks really cool on the one what Jeff did here so I'll probably do the same thing on this one but it's the handle is just absolutely freaking super comfortable really nice one more thing I did today is this kind of baronk baronk, baronk style blade it's a long long machete it's I think tw 24 inches overall just one like a single angle handle but big enough to actually go back leave the finger chop up front and go back to the chopping with a nice big bulb on the end to secure the grip really well and just this nice nicely it looks like full high convex but the grind is actually probably here starts about here still nice and lean this is the thin ABL so it's gonna be a really good machete. I think I'm gonna call this one Penetrator just because how vicious it looks. It really is a nasty looking blade. Should be a really good machete. It's actually pretty pretty light. It's blade heavy obviously but it's because of how thin it is. It's actually nice and light in the hand so you can probably do a lot of work with this. Grind's gonna start right there right by the finger and when you put the, when I put the handle on it's gonna be more mass back here so it will be even more, a little more balance in the hand but just wish is looking big big prong and the tricky thing was the whole thing is continuous curve it might not look like it but the whole thing is one continuous curve on the top and the belly the edge is whole one continuous curve which I kinda like it looks pretty neat see it from this view that it is it's not flat everything is continuous curve Came out pretty sweet. And Sebastian, 
I am gonna put the video together as he was doing it. He grounded his first knife also from the ABL, which came out pretty sweet. Really cool little wish, like wishes. I love to use the word wishes. <laughs> it is wishes, look at that tip. Just nice little thing. He's thinking about doing something with this thing. I personally don't mind it. I mean, if I go up here, it's not in the way of my thumb. You know, it's like right behind my thumb. Kind of locks the thumb in the place. It's, it's really cool looking blade. I do like it a lot. Nice comfortable handle. And for the first time, he this on all the way towards the end. It slipped a little bit on him. So he has a little couple lines going up. But the grind actually he did the basic like a flat grind before the heat treat. And look how nice and even he got it. Like really, really good job. Really nice job. And when it comes back from the heat treat with all my stuff, he will just probably I guess bring it up a little yeah, more now. <laughs> nah, you won't. <laughs> Not on this grind, you take your time and it's gonna be really cool. And he's all excited, he's probably gonna try to make one more. He can make as many as he wants. I have plenty of this ABL here. So it's kinda fun stuff. I'm I'm so happy that he's happy. It was really cool. What else we have here? I think you've seen the Sebastian this. I did some trade with Jeff. Uh Jeff grounded blade. I don't know if it's here. Yeah, it's here. He he has the handle ready for it. Getting ready to do it. He grounded like a miniature version of his uh, kind of like a cleaver knife, the one I like so much. That's gonna be pretty sweet. I got the handle ready for for Dirty's knife. Dirty reviews. That's gonna be his my my and Jeff's thank you for all the stickers he got us. It's gonna be really cool looking blade. Jaiville's gonna do the pattern into this. Hopefully tomorrow morning. I gotta talk him into doing it tomorrow morning because I wanna see it. I wanna be here. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. And uh, we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna... Again, I have carbon fiber in places I didn't even know I have. So I gotta get shower. And uh, off we go to meet Bob. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna go for dinner and talk knives. It's gonna be pretty cool. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good weekend. Take care, stay safe. Say bye to Sebastian. Don't and remember, <laughs> yeah, don't cut yourself.